Okay. Now it is. You can leave the camera. You okay, can, we'll leave you know, it. I don't need to see this end. All right, this set. This, so this is the moment where I have to say the next end is for score. <laughs> okay, we heard you. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Scoring it. You guys ready to go score? Yeah. Yep. Go. Okay, let's go score. Official score sheet. So remember, you're writing your scores on your targets this time. All right, so who's first? Uh, Matt Ricaccio. Okay, go ahead. Got uh, 10, nine, and a seven. Got it. Oh. Uh, Robbie Blaker, uh, seven, no, six, two, zero. Okay, say that again, Robbie. I'll go ahead and put yours in. Six, Robbie Blaker, six, two, zero. Okay. Okay. Lee Taylor. And oh wait, you're blocking my turn. <laughs> uh -huh, some challenges here. Uh, we have a five, four, 
one. Got it. Uh, Aiden Ferris, um, five, uh, three, miss. So, yeah, I'll uh, put that. Five. Give us a closer look because that looks like a six. I can't. I think I kind of wrong. I think it is a six. It's it a is. six. Okay. Yeah, six, okay. three, miss. Okay. Got it. Okay, pull your arrow. Mark, yeah, Mark and Colton. That was easy enough. That was pretty good. On your score sheet, Frank, it says error sign. Was that where we were marking the X's before? Yes. Looking at the uh, Ferris. Yeah, you want to, You can change that if you want. I just said X count. Okay, I'll just I'll do that. Never the exact place each time. Uh, that night I braided my house today, or last night and today, and uh, he was talking about doing your guys' in place later today. Yeah. yeah. So I know he can talk some something. Hey. <laughs> Jenny, do you want to do Aiden and Lee's and I'll do Robbie and Matt's? Okay, sounds great. Just because they're next to each other, they're kind of... Okay. <laughs> on this spreadsheet, uh, I'm going to slide Aiden and Lee next to each other, if that's okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, Matt Ricaccio. Uh, two tens and an eight. Got it. Okay. Robbie Blaker, nine, three, and zero. Nine, three, zero. Got it. Yeah. Okay, Lee Taylor, eight, five, miss. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, in Paris, um, eight, five, one. Okay, got it. I'm getting that back late, please. Just holding where's, the, uh, where's the gentleman from the Easton Foundation? I got a question for him. Oh, on his way. Hi, Frank. Hey, so what are you testing there? What is that? 
Um, so we're making a, a computer vision system for like tracking arrow locations. Um, so you can use your own bow, your own arrows, and it's kind of an arcade system. So we're making games that way you could bring like strategy, offense, defense to, uh, to archery, make it more fun. Um, but then there's also like some training stuff we're adding content as well. So wish you could come out and try it someday. Oh gosh, I so wish I could. That would be great. Yeah. Maybe, maybe one of these days. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Danny, did you ever think the day would come that would be sitting here on Zoom judging an archery tournament? Amazing. It's just amazing. Well, I think when we go down. I, I, should have, I should have invested in Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Company. Yeah, yeah, right? Um, I think when we go down this time, I'm going to ask our camera operator there. I'm not quite well, sure what her name is to get closer to the arrows on every target. Although okay. it's been clear, I wanna, I wanna get closer and see so that while we're recording, those who watch this back can go in and see the where the arrows are hitting. Okay. And hi, I'm Michelle, camera operator. And I heard y'all get you closer. All right, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. No problem. <laughs> You know, and another thing that we could do with this is um, if, the, if the, like if they have multiple people shooting, they could have a judge, like if they have a certified judge, that would alleviate a lot too. Yeah. Uh, Matt Ricaccio, uh, eight, seven, five. Got it. And is that close enough or would yeah, you like it closer? If we, have anything, if we have anything that is, like I said, is within a quarter shaft, like, like see that, that one, he called it an eight, but he this called one? that a nine. No, the, the that one that's close to the nine. nine. If the With one, that shadow. The, yeah. yeah. That shadow makes that look like it's a nine. If he had called yeah. that a nine, I would have said, that's I would have gotten closer. That's closer to be able mm. to that call. And typically the angle is going to be like from the top down or from the bottom up. Per, uh, okay. Perpendicular to where the the line is is in question. Gotcha. All right. Next one. Robbie. Eight. Five. Three. Got it. Okay. You got it. I thought this would be a good time for me to figure out how to do it. Oh. Lee. Lee Taylor. Nine. Five. One. And are the okay. shadows throwing off what you see on mine? Uh, um, so far it's okay, but there is, there are shadows. And so we may have to zoom in at a different angle on some of these close ones. Okay. Yeah. Because this is our virtual one and that's one of the feet items of feedback okay. we needed. Yeah. So can you say your numbers again? I have a nine. Sure. Nine, five, one. Got it. Thank you. Uh-huh. You know what, in, for that uh, virtual target would help if you have like a big piece of cardboard that you can put over the top of it to deflect the light away from it so that the lines will be crisper. Well, it's coming know. from the projector. That I understand that. Me. Yeah, but what I'm saying is if you were able to almost put that in like a, if you had, because I use a projector at my range. A, yeah. The big shot system. And if you can put, like, if, even if you just left it down there on the floor or something where you can pick it up and shade above the target, it will make those lines pop. Do you know what I mean? It has yeah, to be, I think we have to put an it idea, in. Just an idea for down the road. Yeah. All right, next. Okay, Aiden. Uh, Aiden Ferris, um, six, five, one. Got you. Thank you. Mark Garrels. Oh. 
Jenny, we're getting a little tour of uh, Lionheart Archery there. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, it's like visiting archery ranges that we probably will never physically go to, but it's, it's still kind of neat. Michelle, where are you guys located again? Um, this is El Cajon. Yeah, El Cajon. El Cajon. San Diego. San Diego. Okay. Uh, Ted Straub, who shot in the 10 a.m. 10 a.m. line, is watching. Uh, so you 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 have a viewer. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, so ultimately, we all, <laughs> well, I'm just we saying. Were, so ultimately, the goal for this thing, <laughs> the goal for this thing is similar to our podcast, Lee, where we can you can host a tournament and then people can log in and watch the tournament happen. They just no video no microphone um, and still have to register. So yeah, that's the goal. Oh. Hey guys, best of luck. Cool. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was nice. They actually commented. So I just, I just oh, to nice. give you some feedback, so how kind of versatile this is, Ted shot his tournament this morning in his like backyard. So, I mean, it, it, really, it really caters to the ability to compete from anywhere. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, um, Keaton is also a certified judge. So if you would like his assistance on any arrows, uh, just we speak up, okay? May, yes, yeah. we definitely may do that. Okay. There we go. Yes, Ted, um, your tournament and this line will be posted separately on YouTube. You guys are going to have your own, your own link to be able to rewatch your tournament. This is the stuff that I think about when I'm laying in bed at night, how I can get people involved in archery. <laughs> this is where my mind goes. Hey, Morton, I'm going to shut your uh, video off, okay? So you guys have another viewer, Morton uh, Sortland from Norway, just logged in. He shot this morning also. Okay. Matt Ricaccio. I got eight, seven, six. Got it. Oh. Robbie Blaker, eight, six, zero. Got it. Right. Lee Taylor, eight, eight, eight. Good shooting, Lee. Finally. <laughs> I had a good coach. Aiden <laughs> Ferris, um, 10, 6, 6, or uh, seven. I think it's 10, 6, 6. But. Can, we, can we see close? We, we can get closer in and, and verify that. Um, Let's come in closer and add an angle where we can see the shaft in relation to the light. Let me come, come yeah, into this side. Say, the left side. It's hard for me to tell. There we go. Okay, now I can see where okay. you're at. Yep. That's, yeah, I agree. That's a seven. Yep. <laughs> so can you go through that score one more time with me? Oh. Ten, ten seven, 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 six. Yeah. Okay. 
Say that oh, again. That's the right <laughs> yeah. Say your score one more time. Uh, 10, 7, 6. 10, Thank 7, you. 6. Thank you. So, and then a cool thing is that if there's ever a discrepancy on score or any questions, the video is always there for proof. Michelle, do you shoot? Um, fun, but not competition. Um, competition I, is fun. There you <laughs> I actually only started getting into it because of my boyfriend, Matt. So okay, cool. <laughs> I'm here for support today. Oh, nice. Matt, how long have you been shooting Barebow? Two months. Two months. Do you listen to the podcast? I do. All right. That's I like, why his uh, voice is familiar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This oh is my great. God. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you guys uh, just joke with each other and just mess with each other. So. Oh, you, <laughs> you should see what happens outside of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, man. I'm glad to hear you listen to it. I hope, Thanks. I, I hope it helps. Love you guys. <laughs> I'm watching you though, now I want to compete against you. I know. My competition is rubbing up. That's so scary. More practicing is hard when you work nights. It is. And we're thinking of opening early for like range. Never going to get you in too. I don't know, Jenny. I find it hard to believe he's only been shooting for two months. That's crazy. He's shooting very good. <laughs> no, I could have sworn he said this was Friday, so I, I've had the last couple of days off, actually. Because it was Friday, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to work the night before. This is, I might not be perky. <laughs> Matt Ricaccio, I got eight, seven. eight, and a seven, yep. So 23, Matt, at the halfway point, you're at 118. Oh. Robbie, I got three, two, and a one. Not a good day at the office. <laughs> Got it. But you're at the office. That's what's important. Robbie, <laughs> at, the, Robbie at the halfway, you're at 56. Oops, sorry. Okay. Lee, is that okay, it? Lee. Lee Taylor. It's a 10 4 miss. Okay. Is that and a yes? Uh, what was that? That's an X. Is that it's an X? A, 10, it's not in the small X. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. I know, Coach, practice, I get more perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, Aiden Ferris, um, seven, four, one. Got you. Okay. So what do you think of this whole thing, Michelle? It's a lot different than I expected it to be, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but In it's way, so curious. far very fun. 
I actually expected everyone to shoot kind of individually. I didn't expect everyone to shoot all at once. Well, I mean, you have to you have to look at it from the perspective of um, simplicity. Keep it as simple as possible and as close to a real tournament as possible. Mm -hmm. Shooting together is the way it is when we shoot. So you know, and you're able to do it with social distancing, and you know, there's less people there, and you know, so it makes sense. Can you move the camera to the left at, so that the um, Matthew's target? is right at the edge of the video uh, that's good that's good that'll work yep that'll work but yeah so it, it still has the you know you got you got a guy viewing it from pennsylvania you have a guy viewing it from uh norway you have everybody shooting together <clears throat> I haven't cool how I can reach more people though. You know, a regular tournament. Yeah. It'll be in Norway's probably not about the max that you'll be able to shoot at once. Um I have to I have to look into that. Since it's live, like I shoot archery abroad and that's a that's a eighteen arrow, it's six ends of three arrows, and um um I always shoot it on live feed. It's actually supposed to be done with recorded arrows, but I always shoot on live feed because I don't want the stress of like dropping the camera and the target to go out of view and stuff like that. So I might be able to, to be a little less, and Jenny, I'd like your opinion, be less lenient on the necessity with the target to be in, in range, because if you're shooting down range, obviously there's no cheating going to happen. So yeah. That's you know, true. You have to you have to figure out where where it's acceptable, where it's not. Yeah, I mean that's the one thing I was worried about was how we we would get everybody plus the targets and and. As view. long as I can see the fourth shooter, I mean it's it's good. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're good to He's go. Ready? Yeah. Uh, Matt Ricaccio, I got eight, eight, eight. Triple eight, got it. Uh, Robbie Blaker, eight, three, two. Got it. Lee Taylor, eight, three, two. Got it, thank you. Thanks. Aiden Ferris or Miss Miss. Thank you. Got it. How does Matt spell his last name again? I, I deleted it by accident. Oh, R I C A C H O. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.
I was waiting for your guys' cue, and then eventually I was like, I think they're waiting for me. I'm just going to start going. <laughs> Woohoo, look at that target. <laughs> Matt Rapacho, uh, 10, 10, 9. Nice shooting, dude. Thanks. Okay. Robbie, 7, 5, 3. All right. All right. Getting better. Yes, sir. Lee Taylor, 7, 6, miss. Gotcha. Uh, Aiden Ferris, nine, four, missed. All right. Thanks. Got you. So, Jenny, what do you think? Do you think that, that this is um, a valid enough way to make the calls? Because I know there is some discussion about Zoom not being detailed enough and so on and so forth. Well, so far with those difficult calls and, you know, even like the shadows that we're seeing on this target, we can still work around it. I we think so. Get in there. We can, uh, it just requires us to ask them to put the camera, you know, put the camera in the right position so that we can yeah. see it. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's not really grainy. When you get up close to it, it's not grainy at all. Yeah. Um, well, we we'll have to, I'll definitely be sharing um, the YouTube links. So that uh, I'm gonna, the next one. How many rounds are going to go? How many rounds are going to go? Three arrows. Three times. If you're in Hey, Frank, how many more rounds do they got? Three for the half. Okay. Because I, like I said, I'm hosting a um, a double star feeder on the 24th, and I'm gonna try to do these back to back on those week every weekend. I'm gonna do another one of these 10 a.m. for at 4 p.m. and then. Now here's the thing, Jenny, and it's something to think about. If we get 50 people to register for this thing, you're gonna have to use breakout rooms. Uh, breakout rooms or multiple Zoom sessions, yeah, where where you have one judge with like so many. So per, I would say one judge per like ten shooters would work. Yeah. And then you just have multiple Zoom sessions, and then you know, obviously that that would be a and that's an opportunity for you as a judge to make some extra money. Yeah. It could be too that each bail, I mean, when we get past the, you know, one person per bail is that each bail has a camera uh, or a phone that's connected into the Zoom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. You know have, what I mean? Have a, have a, a phone down at the target. Yes. Yeah. At the same time they're shooting. Yeah. Oh, that would be good. That's a great idea. Like hey, that. Frank. Yes, sir. Frank, quick question. How close are we having bare bell into the Olympics? <laughs> Not even remotely. Not even close. Okay. <laughs> as soon as they let the ladies shoot at a national. Uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta crawl before we can run. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're, We're all so close start. together. Wow. There we go. Uh, I got nine, nine, eight. Okay. Nine, six, five. Oh, oh, Robbie. Okay. Nine, six, five. Okay. <laughs> huh. okay. Lee Taylor, eight, six, six. Gotcha. Good group, Lee. Aiden Ferris, nine, five, miss. Okay, got it. Um, stay, stay there, Michelle. Oh, yes. Tell him to go back up to Matt so he can hear me. Oh, sure. Matt, so the yeah. uh, fact is that we just got World Archery to include Barebo for the USAT. So that's mm -hmm. a huge, huge step for Barebo itself. 
like, most yes, important is that we get shooters to show up as, at as many of the national events as possible and the large scale. So NFA indoor nationals, USA yes. Archery indoor nationals, and we get the, the participation there. We When we start to prove that our numbers are going to continue to grow and we're going to show up at these tournaments, that's mm -hmm. what we're gonna, and that's the, more so for the women. We need to get the women their own class for indoor nationals and their own U.S. Open. Well, this year we did for outdoor, outdoor target. But, yeah. So that's, yeah, yeah. that's really – and the fact of the matter is is that Barebow draws more viewers and more, more yeah. um, interest from the general public. Gotcha. Go, it's a little one step at a time. Listen, go to Lancaster <laughs> Archery Classic YouTube view. Look at all of the views for Barebow versus Compound and Olympic Recurve. Yeah. Barebow is where it's at. My, my brother Nacho, by the way. Oh. Hi. Future okay. Barebow. <laughs> <laughs> what was that dig? I missed it. Oh, he said future Barebow. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Seven, six. Got it. Oh. Okay. Robbie? Seven, six, three. Seven, six, three? Yeah. Got it. Okay, it's Lee Taylor. The four, three, miss. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. Aiden Ferris, um, eight, one, miss. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to – can everybody hear me talk? Yes. yes. Yeah. So give you guys some insight. Ted it had an issue earlier where his phone, he zoomed in on his phone so that we can make an arrow call. And then when he walked back, he forgot to zoom back out. And when he was shooting, we could not see the target. Um, I We could see him, but I couldn't see the target. I still counted the arrows. But then we got back. He did it. Uh, there was an incident again, the very last end of the tournament, where um, we couldn't see anything. And we ended up not counting his arrows because it was an, it was basically an equipment failure. He shut the arrow, he shut the camera off because it was touch screen as he was moving around and didn't realize it and had the volume turned down so that he couldn't, so he couldn't hear us talking in the background. And we were telling him, Ted, you need to turn your camera on. We're not going to be able to count these arrows and it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. And then he turned it on and finally realized it. And I was like, dude, you shot, we couldn't see you or the target. He ended up taking zeros on it. So that's a new 
as of right, I, I'm going to review the the check in because I'm pretty sure that I I covered that in the registration form about the rules, but I want to double check it. But just so you guys know, so be cognizant of that. Leave the volume on. Deal with the background discussion and make sure that that video is recording at the every turn. Okay. Okay. And then if we're each if they're each recording from their own yard, they have to remember with their own cell phones. Yeah. Keep them live. Keep yeah, them you guys are doing it the right way. You have somebody else independent running the camera, so that takes that stress off of the the four of you to have to worry about it in some in some regards. So. You're good. You can keep going. I just <laughs> I don't know how Michelle feels about it. But... I don't mind. I got I got the groove down now, so now it's easy. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Ted just it commented. Agrees. Ted commented. He said having a camera operator is gold, and I have to agree 100%. Hell yeah. Doing and shooting these tournaments myself for since five years, I've been doing this, shooting online tournaments, and I can tell you that it's a strap. Like that's probably one of the top stressors is 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 camera equipment and and views and making sure that everything is where it needs to be like now that i know how to zoom in for you guys i'm golden it's easy they better be sending you some venmo tips there michelle just saying oh no he's he's buying me dinner later it's fine <laughs> all right <laughs> last end of the half I expected this to last a lot longer, Jenny. They flew through this half. Oh, yeah. You know, you know what would be a uh, a different a different take on the rules if you gave them an out. You, you gave a shooter. You have one hour hour to shoot. 30 arrows because like if they take their time and 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 go slow imagine imagine like if you get to the last 10 minutes and you have to hustle wow that'd be a lot of stress yeah talk about stress Nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt Rafacho, I got a nine, an eight, and a two. All right, Matt, that is a 19 for a total of 238 for the half. Hi, this is Robbie. I got a nine, six, and a zero. Right. Yeah, Fifteen for a oh, one thirty-five yeah. half. One thirty-five. Lee Taylor, nine four miss. Okay, Lee. So this gives you a one forty-two for the half. Okay, thank you. In first six five um, four. And Aiden, this gives you a 125 for the half. Can you, hold on a second, Michelle, yep. can you give us an angle from each side, just for experience purposes, from mm -hmm. half four, the one in the black? Try to hold the camera a little longer. Sorry. Okay, that's good. All right, just so we can see it and... So, because people are going to watch this, I think, and yeah. judges are probably going to watch this. We want them to be able to see what it looks like, and that that's relatively clear and easy to call in that situation. Yeah, right. Thank you. That's good. No problem. That's harder when all the arrows are there getting that right. tablet in. <laughs> yeah, that's what Ted commented earlier. Ted said the exact same thing, um, that using a phone is smaller, and it gives you a better... <clears throat> And, and I bet if you use the phone, you can rotate the phone to, to vertical 
Yeah, you would. It would make it a lot easier. I just thought the same thing as I was holding everything in there. I was thinking, you know, an iPhone would be so much easier to get in close. Yeah. Well, especially because this is on a stand and I have to carry the whole stand. So I have the stand legs in my way too, trying to angle it. Water, you guys want to take five minutes? That's fine. It'll be like two. All right, that's <laughs> even better. By myself. Yeah, I destroyed one arrow. Well, yeah, my arrow hit wood, and then, and then, and then I try to pull it, and then that the, the, the tip, and then the knock, it's moving. That it would. Have at it.
No, he's marinating some steak, so he's going to grill it up tonight. <laughs> uh, Matt Ricaccio, I got 10, 9, and 8. Thank you. Okay. Oh, sorry. I missed my cue. Uh, Robbie, 8, 2, and 2. Okay. Lee Taylor, nine, six, four. Nine, six, four. Thank you. Correct. Uh, Aiden Ferris, eight, six, three. Eight, six, three, two. Frank, I have two quick questions for you. Okay. On your big shot system. Yes. Um, does it maintain a running end score or is it just re it's the targets and records a hit? Oh, yep. Okay. I wish. And I forget and I forgot what my second question was. Tell him if he wants to send me one of those, I'd be more than happy to try it out for him. <laughs> yeah, I think Keaton and I are gonna take a road trip to Grass Hollow. <laughs> <laughs> That's one heck of a road trip. Okay. Matt Ricaccio, we got a nine, an eight, and a six. Can we see a close up of the six, please? Good. Thank you. Uh, Robbie, six, four, zero. Thank you. Lee Taylor, five. Four miss. Hey, thank you. Aiden Ferris, um, seven, five, three. 
753, got you. Second question for both of you judges. Yeah. So on the virtual system, since I cannot mark my arrows onto a target face, um, so that would be a requirement if a virtual system like this would be used for troop competition or recorded competitions, right? Um, well, yep. the idea of marking the arrows is for bounce outs or pass throughs. Uh -huh. So, in reality, it would hurt you. It wouldn't hurt us. Because if you had a okay. hooked out, there would be no way. Now, unless it could somehow make like a black hole or where the arrow hit and document it as part of the, the projection, as part of the, the sensor takes it and says, your arrow hit here. Um I don't know if that's doable or not, but okay. The purpose of marking arrow holes is for you. It's not for us. It's yes. so to ensure that you earn your points in the event that you hit it, hit another arrow and it deflects and then the, doesn't loses speed and bounces out or hit a hard spot or um or something like that. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. Matt Ricasso, all eights. Eight, eight, eight. Thank you. Eight. Oh. Uh, Robbie, ten four zero. Okay, thank you. Th that one's the ten. Yeah. Okay, Lee Taylor, eight six five. Got you. Oops, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I know, because I got to get really close to get the image. My bad. Uh, inverse, five, four, one. Five, four, one. Got you.
Matt Ricaccio, nine, seven, seven. Thank you. Uh, Robbie, six, four, two. No, I, yeah. Okay. Six, hey, four, two. Just a reminder for you guys, in a USA Archery sanctioned event, you should not touch the target before the arrows are scored. Okay. All right. Okay, this, this is not USARC sanctioned, but I'm just bringing it up for future reference. Okay, so Lee Taylor, eight, five, on this virtual, come to this side, Michelle. Let's see what this last arrow is. Okay. What do you see it as, a four or a five? Can you, or is it Don't beyond? Uh, just put the pen near the arrow that you're trying to call. Is it that one that's on the right-hand side? Okay. Uh, let's see if we can uh, come in at the angle from the other side. And then let's look down. All right, that light is. That light the is yeah, can we call this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, and is there yeah. any way to get a shot just on the other side of that arrow? Yes. Oh, okay. Try to come down from the top, almost. Yeah, I'm never having difficulty seeing. Oh, because the light. I, yeah. with how close I am, I can't see if I'm in uh, view. So just let me know. Okay, go down, down more, down and. Can you go to the right just a little bit? Okay, um. Frank, I'm going to call that a five. I agree. Okay. It's unanimous. Aiden Ferris, um, seven, three, miss. Thank you. Yeah, the virtual party. Yeah. Yeah, and it's harder just with the virtual because I got to get my body out of the way too. Like a little yoga pose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bend in my back.
Okay, let's go. I guess I have to start going to the range with you so I can start shooting. <laughs> Small field. Any place. Even here. <laughs> okay. Matt Ricaccio, seven, six, five. Seven, six, five. Got it. Uh, Robbie, seven, four, and I'm not sure what that one is. All right, let's have a closer look. Okay. Can you get closer? Let me know if I'm in view. Down a little bit. In? Down, like tip it forward down. There you go, right there, that's good. Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a three on that one. How about you? Okay, Jeff? I agree. Yeah, I just noticed it kind of went into one of my earlier arrow holes and stuff, so I kind of didn't know what it was. Yep. So checking. Yep. Okay, it's Lee Taylor, seven five one. Okay. Eden Ferris, nine six miss. Okay. Avocado, I got eight, six, one. Got it. Uh, Robbie, six, six, four. Stand by. Do you want me to repeat that? Yeah. Nope, you're good. Six, six, four. Okay. okay. Lee Taylor, eight, five, three. Eight, five, three. Okay, Correct. guys. Aiden Ferris, five, three, yep. miss. 
Oh. Got it. Thank you. to go. Ricacho, I got a 10, 5, and a 4. Yep, got it. Robbie, I got a, when am I blinking? I got a 5, 5, and a 4. Got it. Hey, Lee Taylor, 10, 8, 5. Okay, got it. In Paris, six, five, two. Six, five, two. two. Okay, got it.
Yeah, this is number eight. <laughs> Matt Ricaccio, I got a nine, a five, and a four. Just for edification purposes, can you give us a close up of the eight nine line arrow? Okay, thank you. It's very clearly in. Okay, okay. Robbie. Eight, uh, I think six and six. Can you check that one, please? I think it breaks the line. I see two sixes. Okay, yeah. thank you. I agree. Jenny, you said you agreed? I did agree, yes. Okay, thank you. Lee Taylor, 10, seven, three. Okay. Got it. Aiden Ferris, um, I think seven, six, one. We can take a look close in on that one that you think is a seven. The top one. Thank you. And just come underneath a little bit. Um, I'm not able to tilt. You know, okay, that, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's good right there. Perfect. That's a okay, seven. Perfect. Yeah. Aiden, can you read me your scores again? A seven. Seven, six, one. Six one, got you. I was thinking, face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard when you get close to you. I can't see the angle as much on there, so I'm like, I hope I'm pointing at it. I don't know. Ends left, almost there. Uh, Matt Ricaccio, I got a nine, a six, and a four. Okay. Uh, Robbie, uh, seven, five, two. Got it. Lee Taylor, seven, six, five. Seven, six, five. Got it. Aiden Ferris, 9-1 miss. 9-1 miss. Got you, sir.
Last end. Last end. Strong. Where's all this aggression coming from? I like the fist pump. You <laughs> <laughs> looked a little bit like Brady Allison there for a second. <laughs> Minus the roar. Yeah. Okay, go all the way around. Right, elbows on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ricacho, eight, six, and a four. Matt, that is eight, six, four is an 18 for the half of 204 and a total. Oh, I forgot to do the total part. Um, I'll give you your total here in a second. Okay. Uh, Robbie, 950. Hold on one second, please. Are you building in the formula for all of them? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm putting the formula in to figure out the total. Okay. I forgot to do that. For a total of 442 for uh, Matt. Oh, nice. Okay. And Robbie. Okay. Nine. I got a nine, a five, and a zero. No. Got it. That's a half that's of 140. And then your total is a 275. Wait, did you say 240? Two, two Two seventy five. Okay. One forty is your half. Two seventy five is your total. Okay, Lee Taylor, nine one miss. Okay, so I have you at total of a one six five. And Frank, are you going to build in that formula? I, I can. Uh, okay. Sure. Let me. I'll go do that now. Okay, and then Aiden. Um, Aiden. Let me know yours. Yep. Seven. No, eight. Yeah. Uh, five, one. Eight, five, one. All right, Aiden, your second half total is a 126. Your first half was a 125. All right. Okay, Mark, Carrera, Holder, I. Lee, your Lee's total was a three oh seven. Yeah. And Aiden was a two fifty one. Okay. So Lee, can you hear okay? Um, no, they're all the way down at the, the end. Oh, they're still at the targets. Okay. Yeah. We'll tell them when they come back. 
Yep. <laughs> I was like, can you guys see that from there? <laughs> Matt's doing a shadow dog eating Lee's head. <laughs> You're a little distracted. <laughs> oh, a bunch of crazy barbos. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, he's got, he's got way too much free time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's right in. <laughs> we'll wait for those guys to come back and then wrap this up. Okay. They finished it in an hour and 40 minutes. Wow. Actually, it was less than that because technically we started about five minutes late. So, yeah, they breezed through that. It it goes faster when you have somebody behind the camera. That's the that's yeah, I can imagine. The, that's the ticket. So you guys just have to uh, plan these things when I'm not working, so I can always be here. <laughs> Probably gonna be it. If I can do one each month, which is the, the plan, um, it's, uh, it's probably going to be near or around the last weekend of the month. However, I might do them through uh, the other business that we started, the International Archery Institute, instead, only because um, then it's either that or through Grass Hollow Archery. I don't know yet. Um, and it, it'll be for compound Olympic recurve and I, why 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 keep this for just bare but it, it'll yeah. benefit everyone. Yeah that seems doable. I think so. You know? Yeah I think so. Um all right well we got them all back up here. All right everyone so thank you all for participating. Um thanks I think it went almost flawless to be completely honest and do me a favor and um, make sure you mention that you posted on social media that you shot the tournament and what the experience was like and tag the Barebill Project. Um, and then look for, if you're interested, uh, the International Archery Institute has started, um, I'm a co-founder of it, and we're doing remote learning adult classes for archers and coaches. So right now we're teaching a level two online we did a compound form class with Coach Larry Wise, and I'll be doing one soon for Barebo. Um, so it's an education as well as form evaluations, video analysis, a whole everything. It, we literally cover everything. Um, there's multiple levels of classes, and fingers crossed, if things continue down the right path, it will actually be a degree program where we can offer a bachelor's in archery. So. See how, see, cool. see how that goes. It's going to take some time and development. But um, this video will be available on our YouTube page. Hopefully, I get it done tonight. Um, and that's it. It's going to be raw, too. I'm not editing anything. It's start. Okay. So, that's Aiden it. And Lee, did you get your final scores? Oh. Oh, uh, Aiden, your final score was a 307. Or I'm sorry, Lee, your yours was a 307. Aiden, your final score was 251. Um, and I told the other guys already, Robbie, you were 275. And Matt, you were a 442. Matt, with a little bit of touch up, buddy, you should be hitting 500 this year. Yep. You don't have not just a lot. I just started, so <laughs> you're right. Just started, but <laughs> listen, I'm it's, telling uh... you, you have serious potential in Barabelle. I am not oh, kidding. Thank you. <laughs> and he's committed. And he works out five days a week. 
Robbie, that was great shooting, even for that that fiberglass bow that you were using too. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Okay, I still can like you guys stay? This pump at the end, that was awesome. Yeah, can you stay on the screen one more time? I want to get a picture of everybody yeah. with you in the foreground. Let's put it against the white screen, you guys. <laughs> okay, gather around the iPad. <laughs> Backside. Oh, that we oh, yeah. you probably need it too, Lee. I'll take it. Yeah. Figure that out. <laughs> oh yeah. All of us archers with our masks on. <laughs> Hold your breath and rip them off. <laughs> all right. Good Can job. We all get a little closer. A little closer. There we go. You got masks on. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two, I don't three. Have masks on. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All I got. Right. I got a couple. Okay. Right. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Everyone, thank you so okay, much. Nice you guys. <laughs> yeah, you'll see Matt. Hey, are you going to Vegas? Because Matt wants to go to Vegas. I'll be there. I this year I definitely plan to go to Vegas. I have my best friend lives thirty minutes from Vegas, so. Oh sweet. Um, I definitely plan to Vegas this year. There you go. <laughs> Connections made. <laughs> Bye, Frank. Bye. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Jen. Bye.